This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Okay, let's not have another scene like that. Ooh, I like this music. A certain playwright once wrote, Any sorrows tempered if you have a friend to share it. And there's a long-standing British proverb to the effect of wine and friends only get better with age. But is there any truth to these claims? I'm not so sure myself. Well, wine can turn to vinegar with age, which, depending on who you are, could be good or bad. Let's say you set out on a trip lugging around a few bags. You'll probably experience some level of anxiety about them being lost or stolen, right? In that case, wouldn't it have been more pleasant to bring nothing at all? All the more so if you were carrying something truly precious. Isn't it better to lock the things you treasure away in a safe box? Or perhaps not to treasure anything in the first place? That sounds like a sad life. I'm sitting in the lobby indulging in some after-dinner reading when Amine walks up with Machina in tow. Oh no, not these two. I lift my eyes from the summer of doors and ask if they need something. Oh, Amine is leaving. Well, I mean, going on vacation for one day. Oh, uh, nothing wrong with using summer vacation to see your family. I don't see any reason why you should apologize to me. Oh no, what will I do? I need women to provide for me. <laughs> Not a problem. As long as I have beans to eat, I won't die. Also, judging judging on the fact that Amine is lugging Makina behind her, she's probably going to ask us to feed Makina as well. And Makina's like, I don't eat beans. I only eat strawberries. <laughs> I can't do a Makina voice, and I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Are you making light of the nutritive, <laughs> the nutritive, the nutritive qualities of beans, woman? Nutritive. That's a weird word. <laughs> The food pyramid is a load of crap. It was made by the Department of Agriculture, not even the Department of Science. There's no scientific basis to it at all. <laughs> Piecing together your meals from all the groups, right? Pretty sure they retired that as too inflexible and restrictive a guideline. Not to mention the fact that eating butt tons of carbohydrates is actually not that healthy for you. And this is from somebody who adores carbohydrates. I see. Well, don't worry about it. I think I'll get by one way or the other. Oh, Makina's sad. Now that I look, Makina's latched onto Amine's sleeve, her small shoulders trembling. Combined with her diminutive frame, she looks remarkably like a lost child at the moment. Uh, what's wrong, Makina? You that broken up over Amine leaving for a while? I know you two are practically sisters, but... Oh, are you going home to your terrible mother? Hmm? What do you mean by that? I think it was Makina's mother where she's like, My mom hates me. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Amine gently strokes Makina's head a few times, then gives me an exaggerated shrug of the shoulders. Um, you, you can leave Makina on her own. She needs to learn how to be an independent person. And maybe grow up a bit. <laughs> Oh, how admirable. You're an exemplary guardian, you know that? Those idiots who get caught up in playing basketball and forget their children in the car could learn a fiend or two from you. <laughs> wow, you're not even going to miss Michiru? Okay, well, hmm. Wow, rude. <laughs> hey. Is the cat just forever on her head now? Rude! Because Makina's a jerk. Oh, wow. Makina's got an attitude, and I don't like it. 
The girl must have heard her name in passing and reflexively inserted herself into the conversation. The ability to talk for that long without a clue about the topic could be called a sort of talent in its own right. True, the more impressive feat here is the total lack of comment regarding the cat perched on Michiru's head, but that one's less attributable to Michiru's talents than our well-honed ignoring skills. Seems Amine's going home as of tomorrow, and she's taking Makina with her. Have Amine's family met Makina before? She's, um, kind of a piece of work. <laughs> Offense intended, Makina. You need to take a look at yourself. <laughs> Oh, that's one of the things that her other personality heard. <laughs> she was stuffing her face with ramen and candies. That's the plan, Stan. Ooh, that's a nice vacation. That's okay, that just gives us more time to spend together, Michiru. Convenient story building. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Yuji can look out for himself. Rude! See ya. <laughs> That's right, because if there's one thing that Yuji, Sachi, and Yumiko are known for, it's living it up. <laughs> Just as the words are leaving Michiru's mouth, Sachi passes by the lobby, sweeping the passage with vigorous movements of her broom. <laughs> oh yay, gratuitous English, I love that. I do like Sachi's uh, very modest maid outfit as well. Betraying no surprise at this disturbing greeting, Sachi carefully leans her broom against the wall before trotting over to us. Conscientious, as always. No, it wasn't. Yes, all of those. We also need a pair of those glasses for the cat. <laughs> yes, that's the best brand. Hey, Sonic, welcome! Uh, so, fiends are apparently we're getting a party in the dorm, which is great. Oh, uh, yeah, party with. Um, you also need one for the cat, excuse me. Cat needs his own mustache and glasses. <laughs> Michiru, how are you getting your money? I don't think you have a job. Oh, she's visiting her uncle. Wow, that was a very, very small amount of Japanese words to say compared to what's in English. <laughs> Well, her uncle has a spring-loaded pie for our wait, no. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh, it also, because we've played Sachi's route, we know that her aunt and uncle are worried about her, so that's part of it. Oh, 
A free person party of Yuji, Michiru, and Yumiko would be hilarious and awkward. Two sets should be plenty, Sachi. I'm not going to partake. Oh, wait, we can invite Principal! Never mind! Two. <laughs> Sorry, Michiru, but Sachi listens to us more than you. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, thank you. Tell Hunter and Liam I say hi as well. Also, tell them that they should probably not watch this stream because this game is rated M. For good reason. <laughs> Okay, yeah, because you never know. We might we might invite people outside the school to join in. That would be weird and interesting. Actually, I don't think they would allow that. This whole school is kind of like a prison almost. Also, Cat needs his own pair. If that cat doesn't get a party hat, I will be upset. Seems like it's going to get a good bit quieter around here. It's not like Sachi's that loud, though. Th that's right, because Yumiko's definitely a party girl. Ouch! That's not nice. Yumiko's... well... Apart from the whole trying to murder people with a box cutter thing, she's fine. I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> oh, look! Guess who is also going on vacation? So it's literally just like everyone's going on vacation except me and Michiru. So that way we can um, bond more, I guess. Okay, convenient, but I'll accept it. With beautiful timing, Sakaki enters stage left with an enormous suitcase. An overseas vacation, perhaps? Michiru watches in utter shock, her mouth flapping in a manner strongly reminiscent of a stunned trout. <laughs> I like how her eyes are literally just hastily drawn circles. It's great. Oh, you're taking a vacation as well, Sakaki. True. <laughs> I guess we only need one pair of mustache and glasses, then. <laughs> oh, Mishiru just knows that it's her and the one guy that she has a crush on for the two weeks. And and the cat. And Principal, obviously. Oh, come on. Michiru, my friend. Seems like it's going to be just you and me for a while. Do you have to have the Sundari act on if it's just you and me? I've already seen the real you. I wouldn't say abnormal, I would just say maybe... What's the word? Not a good idea. <laughs> In that case, should I leave as well? If you're feeling anxious, I wouldn't hesitate to lodge at my workplace for a while. Don't want to make you uncomfortable. Oh man. Oh, does Mitru not have a family to go back to? Obviously, don't tell me that was a that was a rhetorical question. I, oh, that might be sad. Hmm. Two weeks isn't too long. If you find yourself unbearably anxious, I recommend simply holding up in your room until the others return. I'm sure you'll be able to handle a little solitary confinement. Well, that happened. Okay, so just us and Michiru. As I'm setting out for my daily marathon the next morning, I discover a strange little scene. Michiru's skulking around in an area in a blatantly suspicious fashion. 
She scuttles around the courtyard, keeping low and hugging the wall like a cockroach, shooting cautious glances all around her. Even for her, this is fishy behavior. Oh, she's trying to follow us. <laughs> Stealth mode Michiru activated. In particular, the black cat riding on her head adds a distinctly surreal flavor. I'm sincerely glad the girl was born well past the witch hunting era. I decide to observe in an effort to determine her objective. Oh, hey, Nick! What's up? <laughs> yeah, the cat's a, a, an important character now. <laughs> yeah. Despite its terrible voice acting. They should have had, like, the cool stealthy McStealpherson music. That would have been funny. <laughs> what the heck? What's she even doing up at this hour? I did once observe her heading for the sea around this time, but I'm pretty sure she was looking for her cat. And at the moment, the animal in question is firmly perched on top of her head. In other words, there's something else going on here. Perhaps... This strange behavior might not be the usual Michiru. I don't mean that in a figurative sense. Maybe the other Michirus emerge. Are you doing karate moves over there? The exact nature of this little ceremony is unclear to me. But she's wandering around the area, re restlessly making freakish little noises. The girl's never exactly normal, but this is particularly odd. Might it be the other one after all? Michiru, my friend. Did you really think that you were sneaking, McSneakin' out around right here? Impressive ver vertical. Mitru jerks up into the air with a shriek of surprise, retreating a good meter in a single bound. Right back at you, Matsushima Michiru. What are you doing up at this hour? <laughs> so you came out to the baseball field. All right, makes sense. There's no wind today. Okay, good luck. Oh, cram school at 5 in the morning? It is way too light outside for it to be 5 in the morning. Very zealous. What's the name of this early bird educational facility, if I might ask? So that's a lie, right? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I would not want to be Mishu as a lawyer in court. Then what's really going on here? Want to run a marathon with me? Well, this certainly isn't the normal Michiru. But it doesn't feel much like the other one either. Don't tell me this is the arrival of Michiru free. Okay, try telling me what's so dangerous. If I'm convinced, I'll do as you say. <laughs> I'm convinced. That applies equally anywhere. Anything else? That sounds disturbing. We're getting nowhere. I think it's time to explore al alternate strategies. Let's try going straight to the point. Tell me why you're really out here, and who you are. Are you supposed- is that supposed to be her spitting? That was a terrible spitting sound. Good lord, she started spewing saliva in my general direction. Is this really the way young women act these days? If it is, you should not be friends with them. <laughs> Cease the disgraceful waste of bodily fluids immediately, maggot. Even if the god of hydration forgives you, I never will. We have the whole school to ourselves! Do you really, like, have to be in this one spot? Oh my gosh, she is so annoying. Her straw in front quickly crumbles into a cramped, desperate grimace. The girl looks ready to burst into tears. I suppose withdrawing would be the gentlemanly thing to do at this point. 
or even slightly before it, honestly. Yeah, Great America, as in the United States. Eh? Because remember, America is two different continents, but the USA, that's what we call Great America. Said by someone who's from the USA. Alright, understood. In that case, I'll be... Why you gotta... Why you gotta be annoying? Um... Right. Alright then, I'll... See you later. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but in the end, that behavior was simply too unnatural to ignore. I temporarily return as far as the courtyard, but soon double back to observe Michiru from a distance. Beginning from a prostrate position, I advanced with the standard JSDF low crawl to the vicinity of my target. And if choose as of choosing a sniping point, I move to a location that affords good visibility to the scene while providing me with optical cover. Alright. This should do nicely. My view of the scene is unobstructed, and I have a clear escape route secured. An ideal observation spot. Those are some tall socks there, Michiru. Also, what kind of pants are those? I've never seen pants like that. Even as she wanders around complaining about me, Mitra is petting the cat on top of her head. An abnormally dexterous woman, if nothing else. Oh, Sachi, that's right, she was buying the party hats. Ah, <laughs> uh, ribbon crying is back. This pattern is interrupted by the unexpected arrival of Sachi. Does she have some knowledge of Michiru's secret purpose? Sonic, thank you for the bits! I really appreciate it! <laughs> oh, that's great. I forgot about that alert. That's a good one. <laughs> that's right, Sachi's not going on vacation just yet, because she had to buy the party supplies. Yeah, easy there, Michiru. Hmm. The item seems to be a bartering session of some kind. I've heard that dedicated smugglers are a common phenomenon in prison. Does the same system exist in his school? Okay. What? Are, huh? Why are you yelling that? Yes, it's true that basketballs can be inflated by pumps, but why are you bringing that up here? <laughs> hey, no worries, no worries, Sonic. I don't expect anybody to sub, I just do this for fun. Uh-huh. Yeah, have fun at the amusement park. Should be a, should be a fun time. Amusement parks usually are. <laughs> I like how Sachi's actually doing like a whisper voice, and then Major is still like. Ah! <laughs> Shocking to think I'd catch my own classmates red-handed. For the sake of their futures, it would be best to stop this now. Nice try, punks! An unregistered gun deal on my beat? You got some nerve! Hands behind your head and kneel! Hi. <laughs> Sachi falls to her knees on the dirt as instructed. I walk up behind her and wedge her legs apart with my foot. Alright then, no funny business! <laughs> I'm everywhere! Oh! Awesome recreation of Noah's Ark. Sweet! That sounds pretty cool. Silence. You're ten years too young to be dabbling in black market weapons sales, you rank amateur! Hurry up and kiss the dirt! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I, I think we have our thumbnail. Hmm. But Sachi's obediently following my instructions, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, now that you mention it, she, so she does. But if guns aren't involved, then what would that would leave a drug deal? All right. A methamphetamine test seems warranted. They're not doing drug deals. They're just dealing Harry Potter books in homeschool parking lots. I say this as a homeschooler who did Harry Potter drug deals in parking lots. <laughs> Stay where you are while we wait for the kits. Prepare for a urine test. Um, nope. <laughs> How is it Michiru is the normal one in this situation? Hmm. Is what she says true, Sachi? I see. Sorry about that. You can raise your head now. Oh, oh, that's why she was freaking out. Because she doesn't want us to know that she subscribes to Birthday Express magazine. Hey, if it's Lego magazine, that's a pretty cool one. Buying a magazine? Surely you can handle that much on your own, Michiru. Look, nobody's too old for Legos. It's fine. Ooh, or is it the latest highlights catalog? You know, I do love those Goofus and Gallant stories. Awkward? What's awkward about it? Explain. Nice! I'll keep that in mind if I'm ever in Kentucky. I take the magazine from Sachi. The cover is a nauseatingly sparkly abomination, featuring the prominent headline, Beloved Beret Beautification, an outfit straight from the Marvelous Military. What is this, Fane? Okay, forget the rest for now. First things first, I need to annihilate this company! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Le I Lego Magazine is actually pretty cool. That sounds about right. Bare Knuckles Justice. All right, Sachi, let's go. We're going to bring down that company with our fists! <laughs> oh yeah, I forget, because it's literally the same lighting as when it's high noon. Hmm? Ah, true. A lapse in judgment on my part. Well then, what's this rag supposed to be? Oh, that's kind of cute. I, <laughs> I think you got the wrong catalog, though, because, you know, I'm really into the ankle-length denim skirts. Like, mm, those are great. Modest, modest wear, but also pretty cute. I like practicality in clothes. Like, I always said if, like, if I... <laughs> if I can't make it as a programmer, my backup plan is to start a company where we make women's jeans that actually have pockets. <laughs> I know it would be successful. I just don't know how to open up a business. Yuji ain't gonna care. <laughs> you fool, I always wake up at 5 a.m. to run a marathon. It's pretty normal stuff. Oh, hey! You know what? That's true. That's true! <laughs> Will this give me multiple choices and whatever I choose, she'll get an alternate outfit like that? That would be... That's one... That would be a video game choice that would actually be pretty cool. Not particularly. <laughs> that doesn't help! That's like being like, where should we go out for dinner? Oh, I don't care. It's like, okay, great, that narrows the pool down a whole lot. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> 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 
Okay, Sachi, have fun with your uh, aunt and uncle. Hey, it, it's fine. Her face bright red, Mijiru bites her lower lip and quivers visibly. I don't quite understand the situation, but she also seems to be perspiring heavily. A stomach ache, perhaps? Michiru, my friend? <laughs> oh, cool. I was going to order pizza. That a fact. Utter silence. Michiru refuses to even make eye contact. Michiru, let me ask you something. What exactly is a beloved beret? This is like the definition of Sundari right here on one page. You can't even make this up. The Marvelous Military, is it? I pick up the abandoned magazine and jot down the address of a certain rotten publisher with insufficient respect for the gravity of military affairs. Uh-oh. <laughs> a few hours thereafter, everyone who's leaving for summer vacation gathers in the courtyard outside the dorm. But but I wanted to go... I wanted a minigame where we go and beat up everyone in the company for no reason. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Thank you. How gracious of you. Excuse me, I'm the leader of the dorm, not you. That's why I got the big room and the big fridge. So, I, I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Amini and Machina are like, Oh, we're so happy to see you off. And Mishra was just like, Why is this happening? <laughs> Doesn't she live out in the boonies? I don't like how Makin is so rude. Watch them be like, we got your cinnamon! <laughs> I'm more annoyed by Makina, but to be honest. Alright, see ya. Watch your back out there. Did she seriously just do the annoying kiss? After throwing- yep, she did. After throwing a kiss, the girl saunters off. Not gonna follow us in her wake. <laughs> the Remora uh, uh, to Shark. <laughs> yeah. Yes, now I know what to get my nephew as a Lego present. Thank you. Sayonara, Sachi. No, she can clean up her own razzle frazzle room. No. You don't have to do that, Sachi. Not to worry, Sakaki. I don't need any souvenirs. She's like, I'm not gonna buy you any. <laughs> Aren't they just going back to their homes? Then again, Yumiko's dad owns the Dane school, so she, her family's probably rich. But you don't have to do that. <laughs> oh, dang, that sounds like a pretty cool keychain. Hmm. Sounds pretty normal. Ooh! Dang, she's bringing back the tapestry of Martin the Warrior. See ya! Michiru, your room was pretty dreary, come to think of it. Her room was fine. Dude, if I had the tapestry of Martin the Warrior, I would totally put it up in my house. <laughs> Two 
10 bucks says that Yumiko still has her box cutter on her. Just for future reference, Michiru, most people refer to triangular frag flag veins as pennants. <laughs> Bye, girl. Good for you. Sakaki's got a kind side, doesn't she? Seems like she's going to buy you mo one more than requested. Alright, might as well head back to the dorm. We'll be alone for a while, but there's no reason that that has to disrupt our normal routine. Hmm? When I return my gaze on Michiru, I discover that her cheeks have flushed an alarming shade of red. Running a temperature, perhaps. What's wrong? Again with the sudden fevers? You should really consider seeing a doctor. Alright, so yeah. Fine, really? Your acting is pretty strangely considering. With those words, Michiru clomped off into the dorm in a repeat of her imitation goose stepping march. At the time, I thought it was a fairly casual conversation, but that was a misjudgment on my part. Uh oh, what, what's going on now? Michiru spent the rest of her day holed up in her room. That wasn't too alarming, but the exact same thing happened the next day. Struck me as odd. Still, I figured the girl had her reasons. In the end, Michiru didn't even show her face until a little afternoon on the third day. <laughs> 